So we're out here today doing a quick review on the Garmin Striker 4 Depth Finder. And we're on just a local public pond. Caught five catfish so far. And uh, let's check this thing out, it's pretty sweet. All right, so this is kind of an overview of what you might be looking at. So I can see right now I'm in 12.3 feet of water. Let's move towards this tree and we can kind of see what structure looks like with this. Sorry for the horrible camera action. The GoPro seemed to not work this morning. All right, I'm drifting closer to a tree just so we can see exactly what structure looks like while we're using this unit. Coming up on it, coming up on it. As you can see, we're starting to see some stuff on the screen here. We're still in 8.3 feet of water. And I hit a tree. Now you notice We're looking at this line right here, and it's in the same spot. It's not moving. That means there's a branch. And if you look two, four, six, eight, there's a branch three to four feet underneath me sticking straight out. That's why it's on my screen this whole time. A lot of guys will think, oh my gosh, there's a lot of fish on the screen. No, there's not. And it, it, it's easy to think that there might be, but I know for sure there's not because I know I can see the stick that's three feet under me. So that's just kind of an overview of what you might be seeing and what a lot of guys think might be fish when it's not actually a fish. We're on the Garmin Striker 4. We're in 25 feet of water, 74 degrees. We have our traditional screen. It tells you your feet, your temperature, miles per hour, how much volt you have left on your battery, and then you've got your time. This is the easiest one to have it on. You can drop it down to split frequency. You can run 77 kilohertz or 200 kilohertz. You can see they're reading a little bit different depending on the bottom and what you're reading. You have your GPS right here. You have your flasher here if you want to ice fish. You have your GPS and your sonar. And then finally your settings. All right, let's go over kind of how I rigged this up on my kayak. So what you can see here, I have the unit, I have the battery box here, and then a transducer up here and I strategically placed all three of these items. First off, I wanted this up and out of the way. Out of the back, you're running two cords. Your power cord, which is on the left side of the unit when you're looking at it from the back, and uh, your transducer cable on the other side. My battery box, I kind of rigged up myself. Basically, it's waterproof box. I took an ammo container, and I uh, dremeled out a couple holes in there, threw some alligator clips on here, now all my wires are nice and tight and dry. This transducer arm is where the jackpot is though. You can take it on and off. It's a Scotty and it just clips right in nice and tight. So when it gets shallow and I'm up by shore, 
I can clip that off and I don't have to worry about busting my deucer. As you can see, works just fine. We're in 13.3 feet of water, pretty flat bottom where we are right now. And uh, that is that. Guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Like, subscribe, check out our Instagram. We have a lot of great pictures on there. Post uh, pictures daily to that, well at least we try to. Also submit your fish intern of the week. My bobber just went down, so tight lines and take it easy.